Hello scholars, my name is Dr. Kara Stillen and the goal of this channel is to make academic subjects easier to understand. If you haven't already done so, please click that like button and don't forget to subscribe so I can continue making these videos for you as quickly as possible. In the last video, we covered persistent depressive disorder. In this video, we're going to cover premenstrual dysphoric disorder, so let's begin. In order to be diagnosed with premenstrual dysphoric disorder, the individual must have the following symptoms. A. During the week before a menstrual cycle, at least five symptoms must be present in order to be diagnosed with premenstrual dysphoric disorder. These symptoms must start to improve in the first couple of days of menstruation and within a few days becoming more minimal as they go along. B. One or more of the following symptoms has to be present. A. Mood swings, increase, increased sensitivity to a variety of events or people, feeling down, crying more often, sad, etc. B. The individual may experience anger or irritability and may have more conflicts with others around them. C. The individual may have a depressed mood, thoughts about themselves being worthless, or may feel hopeless. They may experience feelings of being on the edge, tension, agitation, or may even have anxiety. One or more of the following symptoms must be present to reach a total of five symptoms when combined with the other symptoms covered above. A. Not everyone enjoys school and that person would not enjoy school at the moment. The work that they have or other activities or other activities usually completed on normal days. The individual may have a tough time concentrating. The person may lack energy and feel very tired. They may have a change in appetite. They also may suffer from insomnia or hypersomnia. They may feel out of control or overwhelmed. They also may experience tenderness in the breasts, have certain back pain or joints pain, or just feel bloated. The symptoms often cause distress, and this can interfere with school, work, activities outside of the house, family relationships, etc. The distress doesn't come about because of taking medication or having another condition. It's just this disorder that is creating it. This situation cannot come about because of medicine or some type of medical condition. Within the U.S., there is statistically 1.8 to 5.8% of individuals that experience premenstrual dysphoric disorder. Stresses and elements that can make PDD worse are a history of personal trauma, stress, and hormonal shifts in individuals. It is also normal for women in the menstrual phases to experience migraines, asthma, allergies, as well as seizure disorders. Disorders like depression, bipolar disorder, anxiety disorders, eating disorders can also worsen during this time. Well, I'd like to thank you for listening to all of these videos. I know there's a ton of mental illnesses. We still have a ton more to go. So I'm working on these every day, hoping to get one video out a day or one video out every two days, working on the script one day and then the other. I'm trying to beat the clock because I go back August 1st to my job. So it's not that I'm not going to be working. I'll be working later hours once I hit August 1st. So, but I still want to get as many of these out as possible. So your comments help. They make me feel fantastic and they definitely motivate me. So keep, keep, uh, I'll keep pushing away and anything you can offer is wonderful. Thank you and have a fabulous day.